The House of Saud Arabic, al -Sud translate. Al -Sud -Ipa, a -L -Sud is the ruling royal family of Saudi Arabia. It is composed of the descendants of Muhammad bin Saud, founder of the Emirate of Diriyah, known as the First Saudi State (1744–1818), and his brothers. Though the ruling faction of the family is primarily led by the descendants of Ibn Saud, the modern founder of Saudi Arabia, the most influential position of the royal family is the King of Saudi Arabia. King Salman, who reigns currently, chose first his nephew and then his son as the crown prince without consulting the Allegiance Council. The family is estimated to comprise 15,000 members, but the majority of the power and wealth is possessed by a group of about 2,000 of them. The House of Saud has gone through three phases: the Emirate of Diria, the first Saudi state (1744–1818), marked by the expansion of Wahhabism; the Emirate of Nejd, the second Saudi state (1824–1891), marked with continuous infighting; and the third Saudi state (1902–present), which evolved into Saudi Arabia in 1932 and now wields considerable influence in the Middle East. The family has had conflicts with the Ottoman Empire, the Sharif of Mecca, the Al-Rashid family of Ha'il and their vassal houses in Najd, numerous Islamist groups both inside and outside Saudi Arabia and Shia minority in Saudi Arabia. The succession to the Saudi Arabian throne was designed to pass from one son of the first king, Ibn Saud, to another. The next in line, Crown Prince Muhammad bin Salman, is the son of King Salman. The king-appointed cabinet includes more members of the royal family. The monarchy was hereditary by agnatic seniority until 2006, when a royal decree provided that future Saudi kings are to be elected by a committee of Saudi princes. Title House of Saud is a translation of Al Saud, an Arabic dynastic name formed by adding the word Al meaning family of or house of to the personal name of an ancestor. In the case of the Al Saud, the ancestor is Saud ibn Muhammad ibn Mukran, the father of the dynasty's 18th century founder Muhammad bin Saud, Muhammad, son of Saud. Today, the surname Al Saud is carried by any descendant of Muhammad bin Saud or his three brothers Farhan, Thunayan, and Mishri. Al Saud's other family branches like Saud al Kabir, the Al Jilui, the Al Thunian, the Al Mishri, and the Al Faran are called cadet branches. Members of the cadet branches hold high and influential positions in government though they are not in the line of succession to the Saudi throne. Many cadet members intermarry within the Al Saud to re establish their lineage and continue to wield influence in the government. All members of the royal family have the title of Emir, prince, but sons, daughters, patrilineal granddaughters, and grandsons of Ibn Saud are referred to by the style, His Royal Highness, HRH, differing from those belonging to the cadet branches who are called His Highness, HH, while the reigning king has the additional title of custodian of the two holy mosques. History Origins and early history The earliest recorded ancestor of the Al Saud was Mani ibn Rabia al Muradi, who settled in Diriyah in 1446–1447 with his clan, the Maruda. Although the Maruda are believed to be descended from the Rabah tribal confederation, it is unclear whether they trace their ancestry to the Banu Hanifa or the Aniza branches of the Rabah. Mani was invited by a relative named Ibn Dir. Ibn Dir was the ruler of a set of villages and estates that make up modern-day Riyadh. Mani's clan had been on a sojourn in East Arabia, near Al-Khatif, from an unknown point in time. Ibn Dir handed Mani two estates called Al-Mulaybid and Gusaiba. Mani and his family settled and renamed the region al -Diria. After their benefactor Ibn Dir, the Maruda became rulers of al -Diria, which prospered along the banks of Wadi Hanifa and became an important Najdi settlement. As the clan grew larger, power struggles ensued, with one branch leaving for nearby Dh Ruma, while another branch the al -Watban, left for the town of Az Zubair in southern Iraq. The al mukran became the ruling family among the Maruda in Diria. The name of the clan comes from Sheikh Saud ibn Muhammad ibn Mukran who died in 1725. Topic: First Saudi State. 
The first Saudi state was founded in 1744. This period was marked by conquest of neighboring areas and by religious zeal. At its height, the first Saudi state included most of the territory of modern-day Saudi Arabia, and raids by all Sauds' allies and followers reached into Yemen, Oman, Syria, and Iraq. Islamic scholars, particularly Muhammad ibn Abdul Wahhab and his descendants, are believed to have played a significant role in Saudi rule during this period. The Saudis and their allies referred to themselves during this period as the Mawahidin or al al tahid the monotheists. Later they were referred to as the Wahhabis, a group of particularly strict, puritanical Sunni sect, named for its founder. Leadership of the Al Saud during the time of their first state passed from father to son without incident. The first Imam, Muhammad ibn Saud, was succeeded by his eldest son Abdulaziz in 1765. In 1802, Abdulaziz led 10,000 Wahhabi soldiers into an attack on the Shiite holy city of Karbala, in what is now southern Iraq and where Hussein ibn Ali, the grandson of the Prophet Muhammad is buried. Led by Abdulaziz, the Wahhabi soldiers killed more than 2,000 people, including women and children. The soldiers plundered the city, demolishing the massive golden dome above Hussein's tomb and loaded hundreds of camels with weapons, jewelry, coins, and other valuable goods. The attack on Karbala convinced the Ottomans and the Egyptians that the Saudis were a threat to regional peace. Abdulaziz was killed in 1803 by an assassin, believed by some to have been a Shiite seeking revenge over the sacking of Karbala the year before. Abdul Aziz was in turn succeeded by his son, Saud, under whose rule the Saudi state reached its greatest extent. By the time Saud died in 1814, his son and successor Abdullah ibn Saud had to contend with an Ottoman Egyptian invasion in the Ottoman Wahhabi War seeking to retake lost Ottoman Empire territory. The mainly Egyptian force succeeded in defeating Abdullah's forces, taking over the Saudi capital of Duriya in 1818. Abdullah was taken prisoner and was soon beheaded by the Ottomans in Constantinople, putting an end to the first Saudi state. The Egyptians sent many members of the Al Saud clan and other members of the local nobility as prisoners to Egypt and Constantinople, and raised the Saudi capital Duriya. Topic: <laughs> Second Saudi state. A few years after the fall of Diriyah in 1818, the Saudis were able to re-establish their authority in Najd, establishing the Emirate of Nejd, commonly known as the Second Saudi State, with its capital in Riyadh. Compared to the First Saudi State, the Second Saudi period was marked by less territorial expansion it never reconquered the Hiyas or Asir, for example, and less religious zeal, although the Saudi leaders continued to go by the title of Imam and still employed Salafi religious scholars. The second state was also marked by severe internal conflicts within the Saudi family, eventually leading to the dynasty's downfall. In all but one instance, succession occurred by assassination or civil war, the exception being the passage of authority from Faisal ibn Turki to his son Abdullah ibn Faisal ibn Turki. <inaudible> Saudi Arabia After his defeat at Mulaida, Abdul Rahman ibn Faisal went with his family into exile in the deserts of eastern Arabia among the al murrah Bedouin. Soon afterward, however, he found refuge in Kuwait as a guest of the Kuwaiti emir, Mubarak al-Sabah. In 1902, Abdul Rahman's son, Abdul Aziz, took on the task of restoring Saudi rule in Riyadh. Supported by a few dozen followers and accompanied by some of his brothers and relatives, Abdul Aziz was able to capture Riyadh's Masmak fort and kill the governor appointed there by Ibn Rashid. Abdul Aziz, reported to have been barely 20 at the time, was immediately proclaimed ruler in Riyadh. As the new leader of the House of Saud, Abdul Aziz became commonly known from that time onward as Ibn Saud in Western sources, though he is still called Abdul Aziz in the Arab world. Ibn Saud spent the next three decades trying to re-establish his family's rule over Central Arabia, starting with his native Najd. His chief rivals were the al-Rashid clan in Hayal, the Sharifs of Mecca in the Hiyas, and the Ottoman Turks in al hasa Ibn Saud also had to contend, however, with the descendants of his late uncle Saud ibn Faisal later known as the Saud al-Kabir branch of the family, who posed as the rightful heirs to the throne. Though for a time acknowledging the sovereignty of the Ottoman sultans and even taking the title of Pasha, Ibn Saud allied himself to the British, in opposition to the Ottoman-backed al-Rashid. 
From 1915 to 1927, Ibn Saud's dominions were a protectorate of the British Empire, pursuant to the 1915 Treaty of Darin. Ibn Saud won final victory over the Rashidis in 1921, making him the ruler of most of Central Arabia. He consolidated his dominions as the Sultanate of Nejd. He then turned his attention to the Hiyas, finally conquering it in 1926, just months before the British protectorate ended. For the next five and a half years, he administered the two parts of his dual realm, the Kingdom of Hiyas and Nejd, as separate units. By 1932, Ibn Saud had disposed of all his main rivals and consolidated his rule over much of the Arabian Peninsula. He united his dominions into the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia that year. Ibn Saud's father, Abdul Rahman retained the honorary title of Imam. In 1937 near Dammam, American surveyors discovered what later proved to be Saudi Arabia's vast oil reserves. Before the discovery of oil, many family members were destitute. Ibn Saud sired dozens of children by his many wives. He had at most only four wives at one time. He divorced and married many times. He made sure to marry into many of the noble clans and tribes within his territory, including the chiefs of the Bani Khalid, Ajman, and Shamar tribes, as well as the Al Ash Sheikh, descendants of Muhammad ibn Abd al Wahhab. He also arranged for his sons and relatives to enter into similar marriages. He appointed his eldest surviving son, Saud as heir apparent, to be succeeded by the next eldest son, Faisal. The Saudi family became known as the royal family, and each member, male and female, was accorded the title Amir, Prince, or Amira, Princess, respectively. Ibn Saud died in 1953, after having cemented an alliance with the United States in 1945. He is still celebrated officially as the founder and only his direct descendants may take on the title of His or Her Royal Highness. The date of his recapture of Riyadh in 1902 was chosen to mark Saudi Arabia's centennial in 1999 according to the Islamic lunar calendar. Upon Ibn Saud's death, his son Saud assumed the throne without incident, but his lavish spending led to a power struggle with his brother, Crown Prince Faisal. In 1964, the royal family forced Saud to abdicate in favor of Faisal, aided by an edict from the country's Grand Mufti. During this period, some of Ibn Saud's younger sons, led by Talal ibn Abdul Aziz defected to Egypt, calling themselves the ''Free Princes'' and calling for liberalization and reform, but were later induced to return by Faisal. They were fully pardoned but were also barred from any future positions in government. Faisal was assassinated in 1975 by a nephew, Faisal ibn Musaid, who was promptly executed. Another brother, Khalid, assumed the throne. The next prince in line had actually been Prince Muhammad, but he had relinquished his claim to the throne in favor of Khalid, his only full brother. Khalid died of a heart attack in 1982, and was succeeded by Fahd, the eldest of the powerful Sudayuri Seven so called because they were all sons of Ibn Saud by his wife Hassa al Sudayuri. Fahd did away with the previous royal title of His Majesty and replaced it with the honorific Custodian of the Two Holy Mosques in reference to the two Islamic holy sites in Mecca and Medina, in 1986. A stroke in 1995 left Fahd largely incapacitated. His half-brother, Crown Prince Abdullah, gradually took over most of the king's responsibilities until Fahd's death in August 2005. Abdullah was proclaimed king on the day of Fahd's death and promptly appointed his younger brother, Sultan bin Abdulaziz, the Minister of Defense and Fahd's second deputy prime minister, as the new heir apparent. On 27 March 2009, Abdullah appointed Prince Nayef Interior Minister as his second deputy prime minister and crown prince on 27 October. Sultan died in October 2011 while Nayef died in Geneva, Switzerland on 15 June 2012. On 23 January 2015, Abdullah died after a prolonged illness, and his half-brother, Crown Prince Salman bin Abdulaziz al Saud, was declared the new king. <laughs> Political power The head of the House of Saud is the King of Saudi Arabia who serves as head of state and monarch of the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia. The king holds almost absolute political power. The king appoints ministers to his cabinet who supervise their respective ministries in his name. 
The key ministries of defense, the interior, and foreign affairs are usually held by members of the Saud family, as are most of the 13 regional governorships. Most portfolios, however, such as finance, labor, information, planning, petroleum affairs and industry, have traditionally been given to commoners, often with junior all-Saud members serving as their deputies. House of Saud family members also hold many of the kingdom's critical military and governmental departmental posts. Ultimate power in the kingdom has always rested upon the Al Saud, though support from the ulema, the merchant community, and the population at large has been key to the maintenance of the royal family's political status quo. Long-term political and government appointments, such as those of King Faisal, who was foreign minister almost continuously from 1932 to 1975, King Abdullah, who was commander of the National Guard from 1963 to 2010, former Crown Prince Sultan bin Abdulaziz, who was Minister of Defense and Aviation from 1962 until his death in 2011, Prince Mutaib Minister of Municipal and Rural Affairs from 1975 to 2009, former Crown Prince Nayef who was the Minister of Interior from 1975 to 2012, and the current King Salman, who was governor of the Riyadh region from 1963 to 2011, have perpetuated the creation of fiefdoms where senior princes have, often, though not exclusively, co-mingled their personal wealth with that of their respective domains. They have often appointed their own sons to senior positions within their own fiefdom. Examples of these include Prince Mutaib bin Abdullah as Assistant Commander in the National Guard until 2010, Prince Khalid bin Sultan as Assistant Minister of Defense until 2013, Prince Mansur bin Mutaib as Assistant Minister for Municipal and Rural Affairs until he replaced his father in 2009, and Prince Muhammad bin Nayef as Assistant Minister in the Interior Ministry. In cases, where portfolios have notably substantial budgets, appointments of younger, often full, brothers have been necessary, as deputies or vice ministers, ostensibly to share the wealth and the burdens of responsibility, of each fiefdom. Examples of these include Prince Abdul Rahman who was Vice Minister of Defense and Aviation under Prince Sultan, Prince Badr, Deputy to King Abdullah in the National Guard, Prince Saddam, who was Deputy Riyadh Governor during King Salman's term, and Prince Ahmed, who held the Deputy Minister's portfolio under Prince Nayef's Interior Ministry. Unlike Western royal families, the Saudi monarchy has not had a clearly defined order of succession. Historically, upon becoming king, the monarch has designated an heir apparent to the throne who serves as crown prince of the kingdom. Upon the king's death the crown prince becomes king, and during the king's incapacitation the crown prince, likewise, assumes power as regent. Though other members of the Al Saud hold political positions in the Saudi government, technically it is only the king and crown prince who legally constitute the political institutions. Topic. Succession Succession has been from brother to brother since the death of the founder of modern Saudi Arabia. Ibn Saud was succeeded by his son Saud. Saud was succeeded by his brother Faisal. Faisal was succeeded by his brother Khalid who, in turn, was succeeded by his brother Fahd. Fahd was succeeded by his brother Abdullah, and Abdullah by his brother Salman. The current king, Salman appointed his half-brother Mukran as crown prince in January 2015 and removed him in April 2015. Even Abdulaziz's youngest son was to turn 70 in 2015. Abdulaziz, in 1920, had said that the further succession would be from brother to brother, not from father to son. King Salman ended the brother-to-brother -brother succession and appointed his 56-year-old nephew Muhammad bin Nayef as crown prince in April 2015, thus making the next succession from uncle to nephew. At the same time, King Salman appointed his son, Muhammad bin Salman, as deputy crown prince, thus making the following succession from cousin to cousin, as Muhammad bin Salman is the cousin of crown prince Muhammad bin Nayef. However, in June 2017, Salman elevated Muhammad bin Salman to crown prince, following his decision to depose Muhammad bin Nayef of all positions, making his son heir apparent to the throne, and making the next succession father to son. For the first time since 1953, when Saud bin Abdulaziz al Saud succeeded his father, the founder of Saudi Arabia, Ibn Saud, amid international outcry over the killing of Jamal Khashoggi, members of Saudi's royal families are distressed over the crown prince Muhammad bin Salman becoming the next king. A lot of princes and members of the Al Saud family want Prince Ahmed to become the next king instead of MBS. During his London tour, Prince Ahmed criticized the Saudi leadership. 
He was also the only member of the ruling family to oppose MBS from becoming the Crown Prince in 2017. <laughs> Wealth In June 2015 Forbes listed Prince Al-Walid bin Talal as the 34th richest man in the world, with an estimated net worth of $28 billion. Prince Al-Walid had a net worth of $20.4 billion in 2014. King Salman had a net worth estimated at $17 billion in 2016. The net worth of the entire royal family has been estimated at well over $1.4 trillion, which makes them one of the wealthiest families in the world, if not the wealthiest. Many princes and government officials have been arrested in the 2017 in alleged anti corruption campaign by the King and Crown Prince. United States President Donald Trump has expressed support for the arrests. Topic. Opposition Due to its authoritarian and quasi-theocratic rule, the House of Saud has attracted much criticism during its rule of Saudi Arabia. There have been numerous incidents, including the Wahhabi Ikhwan militia uprising during the reign of Ibn Saud. Osama bin Laden, a critic of the U.S., was a critic of Saudi Arabia and was denaturalized in the mid 1990s. On the 20th of November 1979, the Grand Mosque seizure saw the Al Masjid Al Haram in Mecca violently seized by a group of 500 heavily armed and provisioned Saudi dissidents led by Juhayman Al Otaybi and Abdullah Al Qatani, consisting mostly of members of the former Ikhwan militia of Otaiba, but also of other Peninsular Arabs and a few Egyptians enrolled in Islamic studies at the Islamic University. City of Madina. The Saudi royal family turned to the ulema who duly issued a fatwa permitting the storming of the holy sanctuary by Saudi forces, aided by French and Pakistani special ops units. According to Lawrence Wright, the Gigan commandos did convert to Islam. Most of those responsible, including Al Otaybi himself, were beheaded publicly in four cities of Saudi Arabia. In January 2016, Saudi Arabia executed the prominent Shiite cleric Sheikh Nimr, who had called for pro democracy demonstrations, along with 47 other Saudi Shia citizens sentenced by the Specialized Criminal Court on terrorism charges. Since May 2017, in response to protests against the government, the predominantly Shia town of Al Awamiyah has been put under full siege by the Saudi military. Residents are not allowed to enter or leave, and military indiscriminately shells the neighborhoods with airstrikes, mortar and artillery fire along with snipers shooting residents. Dozens of Shia civilians were killed, including a three-year-old and a two-year-old child. The Saudi government claims it is fighting terrorists in al Awamiyah. Crown Prince Mohammed bin Salman kept his own mother away from his father for more than two years, out of the fear that she would stop the king from giving the power to him. Princess Fada bint Fala al Hathleen, third wife of King Salman, was said to be in the U.S. for medical treatment. However, according to the U.S. intelligence, she was not in the country. <laughs> <laughs> Heads <laughs> First Saudi state Muhammad ibn Saud approximately 1710-1765 ruled 1744-1765 Abdul Aziz ibn Muhammad ibn Saud died 1803 ruled 1765-1803 Saud ibn Abdul Aziz ibn Muhammad al Saud died 1814 ruled 1803-1814 Abdullah ibn Saud died 1818 ruled 1814 to 1818 Second Saudi state 1 Turkey ibn Abdallah 1755 to 1834 ruled 1824 minus 1834 2 and 5 Faisal ibn Turki al-Saud 1785 to 1865 ruled 1834 to 1838 and 1843 to 1865 son of Turki 3 Khalid bin Saud ibn Abdul Aziz ibn Muhammad ibn Saud ruled 1838 to 1841 distant cousin 4 Abdullah ibn Thunayan ruled 1841 to 1843 distant cousin 6, 8, and 11. 
Abdullah bin Faisal bin Turki al Saud ruled 1865 1871, 1871 1873, 1876 1889. Son of Faisal 7 and 9. Saud ibn Faisal ibn Turki died 1875, ruled 1871 and 1873 1875. Son of Faisal 10 and 12. Abdul Rahman bin Faisal (1850–1928) ruled 1875–1876 and 1889–1891. Son of Faisal. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Kingdom of Saudi Arabia. Abdulaziz bin Abdul Rahman bin Faisal known as Ibn Saud the 15th of January 1876 to the 9th of November 1953 ruled 1932 to 1953 King Saud bin Abdulaziz the 15th of January 1902 to the 24th of January 1969 ruled 1953 to 1964 King Faisal bin Abdulaziz April 1906 to the 25th of March 1975 ruled 1964 to 1975 King Khalid bin Abdulaziz the 13th of February 1913 to the 13th of June 1982 ruled 1975 to 1982 King Fahd bin Abdulaziz the 16th of March 1920 to the 1st of August 2005 ruled 1982 to 2005 King Abdullah bin Abdulaziz, the 1st of August 1924 to the 23rd of January 2015, ruled 2005 to 2015. King Salman bin Abdulaziz, born the 31st of December 1935, since 2015. Topic: <laughs> Most notable current members. Topic: Sons of King Abdulaziz. The list of King Abdulaziz as surviving sons, except for current Saudi monarch Salman, are as follows: Bundar bin Abdulaziz, born 1923, eldest surviving son, who is reportedly still alive; Mutai bin Abdulaziz, born 1931, Minister of Municipal and Rural Affairs from 1975 to 2009. He has a long-standing family alliance with King Abdullah. Talal bin Abdulaziz born 1931, held the ministerial portfolios for finance and communications in the 1950s. Major businessman, special envoy to UNESCO and chairman of AGFUND. He had a leading role in the Free Princes movement of 1958 which sought government reform. He resigned in 2011 from the Allegiance Council. Abdul Llah bin Abdulaziz born 1939, former governor of Al Jaf province. He was special advisor to King Abdullah from 2008 to 2015. Mamdo bin Abdulaziz born 1940, former governor of Tabuk region who was removed from the post by King Fahd for insubordination. Later he was made director of Saudi Center of Strategic Studies. Ahmed bin Abdulaziz born 1942, Deputy Minister of Interior from 1975 to 2012, Minister of Interior from June 2012 to the 5th of November 2012. Mashhur bin Abdulaziz born 1942. Mukran bin Abdulaziz Al Saud born 1945, Director General of the General Intelligence Directorate from 2005 to 2012, former Governor of Hayal and Madina provinces. He was appointed second deputy prime minister on the 1st of February 2013 and he was made crown prince on the 23rd of January 2015 when his half brother Salman became king. On the 28th of April 2015 Mukran was granted resignation based on his request to start the next generation of the royals. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Living daughter of King Abdulaziz Al Jafara bint Abdulaziz Al Saud. Equals equals see also.